Six, five, three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlanta. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Jakar Singh and on this channel, we talk about anything which is interesting about the aerospace industry, especially case studies of some of the great aerospace companies or talking about the future of the aerospace industry. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how closer electric planes are to reality and what are all the startups which are involved in the manufacturing of electric planes. Moreover, we will also look on how people like you and me can take advantage of this electric planes revolutionary era. So let's go. Aviation has come a long way since the Wright brothers has invented the first airplane around 20th century. And today, aerospace giants like Airbus, Boeing, General Electric are investing in startups and projects to develop autonomous flying electric aircraft with vertical takeoffs and landing capabilities. At a time when climate change is becoming an imminent threat to the planet and the aviation industry contributes 2 to 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions, electrifying commercial aircraft will become the new goal for innovative startups and industry leaders alike. California-based startup Ampere recently test flew a five-passenger aircraft with a retrofitted electric motor powering a propeller in the back of the plane. While the plane still used a normal combustion engine for the propeller at the nose of the plane, the successful flight of this hybrid aircraft offers a glimpse into the not-too-distant future of the aviation. Ampere's retrofit, originally named as a Cessna Skymaster, can travel up to 200 miles on a single charge, which uses 55% less fuel than unmodified plane, and it costs 50% less to maintain. Another California-based startup, Wright Electric, is planning to retrofit a nine-passenger plane with the hybrid engine, which is expected to offer fuel savings up to 20%. One major decision that companies are currently facing is whether to design completely new aircraft or simply to retrofit existing models with electric motors. Retrofitting may allow companies to release their models for commercial production soon since those models are likely to face less regulatory hurdles. However, new designs are likely to win in the long term. The Federal Aviation Administration said that approvals for design changes can take many years, but at least with retrofits, you already know the airframe world. In another talk, Eric Barsh, CEO of Florida-based electric aviation startup named Verdigo Aero said in a general, it was relatively easy decision to focus on newly designed aircrafts. Yet an aircraft designed around conventional propulsion typically struggles to realize the benefits of electric and hybrid electric power. These were both US-based startups. At the Paris Air Show, which took place in June, Israeli startup aviation aircraft drew particular attention, taking double-digit orders for its 4 million electric plane named Ellis. The plane can fly 650 miles at about 500 miles per hour with an electric motor on its tail and each of its wingtips. Cape Air, a regional airline in Massachusetts, put in orders for the aircraft, making it the first ever order for commercial electric planes according to Quartz. Since 2017, around 250 million has been invested in electric aviation startups. Both Boeing and JetBlue corporations have invested in Zunum Air, which is expected to come out with a hybrid aircraft later this year. Ampere has raised money from a variety of venture capital sources, government grants, and from the aviation industry, including engine manufacturer Continental's Aerospace. Looking ahead, we can say the successful test flights demonstrate that electric aeroplanes aren't just a pipe dream, but a viable, cheaper, cleaner way to fly. Electric motors also produce less heat than turbine engines, which makes them cheaper to maintain. 
both the fuel efficiencies and cheaper maintenance will provide significant cost savings. The improved fuel efficiencies also put electric aeroplanes in good favor with governments looking to reduce their carbon footprint. That favor should help electric planes take off sooner rather than later. Initially, Airbus was making plans to test fly a short jetliner with one of its four turbofans replaced by an electric motor by 2021. But in 2020, due to the pandemic, Rolls-Royce and Airbus both decided to bring the E-Fan X demonstrator to an end. Even initially, Uber was planning to use electric vertical takeoff planes to expand its ground taxi service to the sky by 2023. But around 2021, they have sold their Uber Elevate to Joby Aviation Incorporation business. And they also has stepped down from the race of electric planes. So in order to conclude, we can say electric planes are closer to reality, but most of the companies have postponed their idea of electrifying the aviation by many years just because of the pandemic and they have reprioritized their goals which they have mapped to the later years. So as of now, we should keep our eyes on whoever is trying their best to come up with the electrification of aeroplanes and should focus more on how we can invest in those companies. So these were some of the companies those are involved in the manufacturing of electric planes and some of the startups which are doing their best to electrifying the aviation industry. So that's it for today's video. Hope you must have gained many of the new insights from this video and if you want to know more about the school stuff about aerospace industry consider subscribing and see you in the next video thank you for watching